Hello, I'm Matthew Mitchell, convener for Introduction to Programming. In this short video, we're going to look at the essentials of procedures and functions. So, procedures and functions are both ways of just grouping together lines of code, and groups of code that are put together we are referred to as blocks, and then we're giving those blocks or groups a name. So it's just a set of, line of, set of lines of code that are put together, and we give them a name. Now, both functions and procedures can take arguments, and we'll explain what that is, but that's a way of passing in data to the group or the block of code so that it can be used within the functional procedure. Functions are different from procedures in that they have a return value. So you call a function to get something back. Procedures, on the other hand, are usually not called to give a return value, but called because they produce a side effect. And that might be outputting something to the terminal as a typical sort of side effect we might do, or writing to a file. So it doesn't return something back to the calling um, program or function, but it does have a side effect that does something out, outside of the um, program. So I've highlighted the keywords in bold. These are terms that you'll come across probably in other lessons and certainly throughout your career as a programmer. So we'll go and explain what these things are now. So we're coming back to our um, Visual Studio and we're going to say, well, this, rather than just having lines of code like we did in the, in the first tutorial where I just typed in put s and get s straight into here, we're now going to start organizing our code uh, using functions and procedures. So we're going to put in here main. Now when the code comes to main, when the program, uh, when you run this, and the system goes through and looks here, it's going to hit this thing called main, and it's going to try and execute that just like it does put string or get string. It's going to say, well, that's a command. I'm going to try and execute that command. But there's no default command available to it called main. So that it will find that there is nothing called main that it can execute. So we have to write that ourselves. So we're going to start by writing a procedure called main. So here we call we write def main, and that's defining something called main. It doesn't do anything yet, it's just blank, um, but it begins where the, the def statement is, and it finishes where the end statement is. And maybe what we simply want to do in this tutorial is just two, two simple things. We're going to read something in from the terminal, and then we're going to uh, display something back out to the terminal. So I might write a little function called get user name. And I might pass into that a prompt. So now this doesn't exist yet either. We have to tell the system what this is. But we're saying that there will be a block of code with the, called get username, and we're going to pass some data into that called prompt. So at this point, <coughs> um, prompt is the argument that we're going to pass in. That'll have a value. So let's think about what we might want to pass use get username. Probably we want to just um, display on the terminal something saying please enter the username and maybe or, or something like that. So we'll 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 go prompt equals okay please enter username. Alright <clears throat> so get username is going to receive this string as an argument. Now we expect get username to give us something back presumably the username. So we're going to say, or maybe we can put it here, username equals get username. So this is a function that's going to return something and it's going to be username. Then we want to do something with the username that we've got. So I'm going to say print username and that's going to display the username out to the screen. So this could also have an argument. So maybe we could have another um, uh, prompt here called display prompt which equals the user name was or the user name entered was so I'm going to put in here display prompt so what we have is a variable called prompt with please enter username, which is obviously of type string. 
We have a variable called display prompt, which says the username entered was, which is also of type string. And then I call this function, and I call it specifically to get the username. And then once I have that username, I call this procedure, print username, passing it both the prompt and the username so that it can print it out. So I'm giving print username the information that it needs, the prompt I want it to display and the username that I want it to display. And because this has not got an assignment statement next to us, we're not using this as a function. We're using this as a procedure. We're calling it for the side effect, which is displaying the username on the terminal. That's a side effect. If it's not a return value, then it's a side effect. So that's our simple main procedure here. And now we've got to go and implement these, this function, get username, and this procedure, print username. So we go def, get username, and we're going to pass in the prompt, as we said. And what I want to do is simply put string prompt, and then I want to have the name be equal to get S, which will give us the name. Oops. And then I want to go return name. So that is what's going to get pop out the top of the function when we call it. So when I call get user name, what pops out here and gets assigned to user name is this the contents of this variable here, which will be obviously whatever we type in. So that's get user name, the function. And then we're going to have def uh, print username, and we're going to pass in display prompt, and we're going to pass in user name. And this simply goes put s prompt, and then put s uh, user name. Alright, so doesn't return anything, there's no return statement here, and even if it did return anything, we're not using it, we're not assigning the result of print username to anything. So it is a procedure, and this is a function. Well let's run that and see, um, let's just check we're in the right spot, yep, so let's run that, let's save as demo code, and see if we have any errors. Oh, I think I haven't saved it, and that's still the last version of it. We can stop a program by typing Control C, and that will interrupt the program. Let me save this one. All right, let's check it's the same on disk. We go less demo code.rb. That's another command you can use with the terminal. Yep, that's the right program. So now let's run that. Enter the username. In Matt Mitchell. Ah, so we have a problem. Let's have a look. Print username, undefined local variable or method prompt. Right, can you see what the problem is? Okay, the data available to print username, the only two things it has available to it for getting data from is display prompt, oops, and username. Fair enough. There's username, but we haven't used the term display prompt here. We've used prompt. So we either need we need to do one of two things. We need to change that to display prompt so that they match, or or we could change that to prompt. It doesn't matter which one we do. This name here does not have to be the same as this name here, but these have to be the same. They must match. So I'm going to say, well, let's just call them both prompt. There's only one prompt in print username. Let's just call them both prompt. That's fine, they still match, even though they're not the same as this. This is a local context. The information in display prompt gets passed in, it gets called prompt, and it gets put out as prompt. Let's see how we go now. There we go. So, so that's worked. So now we have our little simple program working, and that's got a function called get username, takes one argument, 
returns a name. We then pass that name into the procedure, print username, and also we pass in this prompt. So get username, it takes its argument prompt, displays it to the screen, and then reads in a name from the user and returns a name. This pops out of here and gets stored in the variable username. So Matt Mitchell is what I typed in. That's what this variable is. It gets that string pops out here and that string is stored in the variable username. Then we call print username. We pass in display prompt, which is this one here. And then we pass in the contents of username, which is Matt Mitchell. So when we go to print username, prompt has the value Matt Mitchell. Oh, sorry, prompt has the value the username entered was. Username has the value Matt Mitchell. We put out the prompt and we put out the username. Yep. So hopefully that helps you understand the basics of functions and procedures.